how do we break the armor of apathy among young people finally, or is it even possible? You mean about politics? Yes. To involve them in politics? Well, it's a long, long, long work that we need to do because it's a huge task. Very important, but it's not only Canada, it's uh, uh, around the democratic world uh, that the new generation doesn't feel uh, as much compelled to, to vote. They don't, does not consider it as a duty as much as their parents did. Yes, yes. So uh, I never miss an opportunity myself to go to a college or a high school and to discuss the issue with them. I think it's a matter of education most, most and foremost. Okay. One last question because I know you have to go. Uh, the second most popular resolution on the convention website was the legalization of marijuana. Um, is it, are Canadians ready, do you think, to have a, an adult conversation about that issue? Well, when we were the government, we had a bill uh, by Martin Cochon, Minister of Justice of the time. I, I think it was a, a sound first step to, uh, to deal with an issue where the, the war against marijuana, marijuana did not work. So we need to look at something else, and I'm pleased that the youth of our party is investigating ways uh, to make sure that uh, we have that right. I think it's a dangerous uh, substance. We should not encourage people to use it. But at the same time, we need to be sure that if a law is broken, we need to uh, fix it. Okay. But, uh, is it more dangerous than alcohol? Well, alcohol is dangerous too, so certainly. But we're not, we're not talking about uh, make, uh, making alcohol illegal, though? No. So. No. But it's not because we have a substance that is dangerous that we, we are not banning that we should welcome all the dangerous substances of the world. Yeah. It's a tough communications war to win too if you do take this step and, and, and have a policy resolution and pass it. Uh, it's, it's a tough communications war in all honesty, wouldn't it be? Yes, it is. Uh, many things are difficult, including your carbon tax. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. <laughs>